Hello everyone. Today's topic is how to define your own new handler. Last session we've talked about how to customize operate new and operate delete. And we've uh, briefly uh, talked about what, uh, is, what new handler is. And today let's start with the review. A new handler is a function that's invoked when an operator new failed to allocate memory. Its main purpose is to help the memory allocation to succeed. Uh, the function set new handler installs a new handler and returns current ha new handler. Uh, this is an example of uh, operator new implementation that we talked about last week, uh, last session, um, to demo uh, the, what the operator new typically does. Inside the, the function, there's an infinite loop. And the first thing it try to do is allocate the memory of the size size. And if the allocation succeed, uh, it will return the memory and it's done. Otherwise, it will fetch the new handler and check if the new handler is the valid or is a null pointer. If it's not a null pointer, it will just invoke the new handler. Hopefully it can do something nice to free up the memory and then um, go back to the loop and try to allocate the memory again. Our new handler can, um, if the new handler is now a bad alloc um, exception is thrown. New handler can do a lot of things but one thing it must do is to exit the infinite loop and there are three exits from the infinite loop one is return the uh, memory and second thing is throw the bad alloc uh, exception lastly the new handler itself can either throw exception or terminate the program uh, immediately uh, so these are the five options that our new handler must do. Um, it must do at least one of the things. First, make memory available so that next run of uh, memory allocation could be succeed. Second, install a different new handler. If the current new handler cannot do anything to free up the memory, then maybe a different new handler could. Third, uninstall the new handler set the new handler to now which means um, I can do I cannot do anything about the memory anymore so it will just throw a bad alloc exception number four instead of uh, let uh, the operator new to throw the exception the new handler can throw exception itself of uh, the bad alloc or any exception that's dis derived from bad alloc last option is to terminate the program so let's look at some examples um, in this example in the main function I try to create a gigantic array of integers and of course my host machine cannot handle that so um, it will print out uh, it will, slow exceptions. So what's happening here is because I haven't installed any new handler and by default the new handler is now. So when the operator new test whether the new handler is now, it is now. So it's just uh, throw exceptions. So output will be terminate called after throwing an instance of bad alloc. Now second example um, I define a new a function called no more mem and uh, in the main function I install the no more mem function to be the new handler and then again as before I create a gigantic uh, integer array and this time because I already set a new handler um, and what the new handler does is print out some message and then terminate the program the last option um, 
so the output will be unable to allocate memory bow. What I have done here is I set uh, a, the global new handler to be a uh, no more mem, which means any uh, memory allocation fail will call this uh, new handler. One question you might want to ask is can I set a class specific new handler? Uh, a new handler can invoke only when the memory allocation, allocation for a particular class failed. The answer is yes, we can implement that in C++ by overloading the operator new. So this example, uh, my dog class uh, have a function no more mem no mem for dog, and I've overloaded the, the operator new over here. And the main purpose of the operator new overloading is to three things. Number one, I set the new handler to be no mem for dog. And secondly, I call the operator new as before, as usual. Um, this will allocate the memory for dog. And lastly, I restore the new handler to whatever it was before. Because the no mem for dog new handler is only for dog. So anybody else after that uh, should use what, whatever was the new handler before. So this is uh, how the new handler, class specific new handler can be implemented. There's a small problem with this, pro this program. Can you see what it is? The problem is when the operator new uh, fail, fail to allocate the memory, it will invoke the new handler, which is uh, no mem for dog and then no mem for dog will throw exceptions. So that means the original new handler will not be restored. So we need to copy this this line to over here and in the no mem for dog function before I throw exception I want to restore the original handler. That will complete the implementation. That's all. Thank you. If you have any question, any comments, please leave uh, comments below.